on the table and uh, send for the further process of trying however the efficiency of uh, uh, mo the molder uh, decreases gradually because of the standing at the same place for the long duration the cost of brick molding also increases when the table molding is adopted second one is the machine molding uh, the molding may be also uh, achieved by a machine in this process it proves uh, to be economical when bricks in a hug quantity a large quantity are uh, to be manufactured at the same spot in a short time it is helpful in uh, for the molding hard and uh, strong clay these machines are broadly classified into two categories uh, one is the plastic clay machine such machines contain a rectangular opening of size equal to the length and width of the brick the pugged clay is placed uh, in the mold machine and uh, as it comes out through the opening it cuts into a strip uh, by wire mix wire mixed in the frame the arrangement is made in a such a way that uh, the strips of thickness equal to that of the bricks are obtained and as the bricks are cut by the wire and they are called for the wire cut bricks the dry clay machines is uh, the second type in this machine so here strong uh, clay first uh, converted into the powder form a small quantity of water and uh, added after that it becomes a stiff paste such paste is placed in the mold and uh, pressed in the machine from the hard and uh, well sh uh, shaped bricks these bricks are uh, known as the pressed bricks and they uh, do not practically require trying uh, they can be uh, sent directly uh, to the uh, process of burning and the wire can uh, bricks are pressed in uh, bricks have rec uh, regular shape uh, sharp edges and corners and they are more smooth uh, external surfaces they are behave they are strong and exhibit uh, uniform uh, dense uh, texture than the ordinary hard hand molded bricks and uh, in the drying process the damp bricks it burns are like to be uh, cracked and uh, deserted hence the mold bricks are desired before uh, they are taken out in the next step and that is a burning process for drying uh, the bricks are arranged longitudinally in the stack means of racks of width equal to the two bricks uh, a stack maybe contains eight to ten uh, tires uh, the bricks are arranged along the across the stack in alternate layers all bricks are placed in edge and the bricks are allowed to dry till they becomes hard and the moisture content uh, about two percentage see artificial burning the bricks may be uh, generally dried by natural process uh, but when bricks are uh, rapidly dried on a larger scale the artificial drying may be adopted in such cases the molding bricks are allowed to, uh, to pass through the dryers which are in the form of the tunnels or the hot channels or the floors such dryers are heated with the help of um, the special furnace uh, by the hot uh, flue glasses the tunnel dryers are more economical compared to the hot floor dryers second one is circular of air the bricks or stack should be arranged in a such a way that a sufficient air space is uh, left between them or uh, for circulation of air third one is uh, drying yard the drying yard purpose a spread drying yard should be prepared it should be a slightly on higher level it is desirable to cover it uh, with the sand such arrangement would prevent the accumulation of uh, rain water and the last one is period for drying the time of uh, required molded bricks to dry up on prevailing uh, weather conditions usually it takes about 3 to 10 days of uh, bricks uh, to become uh, dry